It's new comic book haul time. Hey, 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 it's Jesse here, JLS Comics, uh, back with another new comic book haul. I haven't done one of these. I do them every couple weeks now, it seems like. Kind of split it up between the early part of the month and the late part of the month. Um, just because, you know, life and everything. I don't always get to the shop when I should, um, but it gives me an excuse to do a new comic book haul and break that up with my back issues because I tend to accumulate those pretty quick. So today we're going to look at new comic books from this past Wednesday and last week as well. Um, went to the shop today and um, had a fun time there. They had an event called Not at Comic-Con. Holy shit, that is glary. Um, so basically, you know, it's kind of like, you know, they know that uh, San Diego, San Diego Comic Con is going on and, you know, it's on the other side of the country. So basically, event, discount, sales, um, people can go and dress in costume. There was some really cool ones. There was somebody dressed as Groot, which was pretty neat. Um, there was a really beautiful Wonder Woman as well. Uh, I didn't take any pictures or anything. I just kind of went to get my books and it was also a very busy pokey stop so there was some lures drop so if you know what that means then you are just as bad as i am all right so the books i got uh this first one here i actually did not get today i got it the other day uh last week actually at uh, books a million it's conan the slayer and if you watched my tuesday comic conversation the third episode this was the first book i mentioned I said I'd be getting this first. I actually haven't read it yet, to be perfectly honest with you, but that is a freaking badass cover. That is a barbarian being as barbarian as he can be. Colin Bunn's writing that, so it's, uh, you know, gotta be good. So there it is. Next one I got, I got this today. Uh, I didn't see the, the other cover, the Frank Cho cover. But uh, I like this one all the same. And I wasn't willing to pay. It was like $25 for that book that they're asking for now. The Frank Cho one. But uh, I like this one. This is the cover. I had the regular cover. And it's Street Fighter Legends. Cami. It's a cool cover. Check it out there. Um, it's Jim Zub. So um, that's pretty good. And I like some of Jim Zub's other work. Such as Thunderbolts. So that's a book I've been looking forward to. And you've heard me talk about it in the past. Um, I'll just mention it here again really briefly. It really brings me back to not only the, the art style, but the writing. Uh, back to like the 90s and the fun I used to have with the books back then and stuff. So, you know, love to hate on the 90s and all, but you know what? It's near and dear to my heart. So the book, when I get a book like this or find it, it's like, hey, cool. Um, I remember that feeling or that experience. So uh, kudos to Jim Zub. And if uh, this has anything... Uh, telling uh this uh, will be as fun as well mr zub there on that so there is thunderbolts number three cool story cool team and then you got um oh what's her name cubic also who tied in uh, recently to some stuff going on so spider-man deadpool up to number seven on this now Now we have a volume two, the miniseries ended. Volume two for the ongoing has begun. It's Deadpool and the Mercs for Money, number one. And uh, you can tell a lot of these characters, you got Solo, you got Slapstick, a um, bunch of other people here. Stingray, Massacre. Uh, a lot of them are getting solos with the Marvel Now launch. So that should be interesting to check that out. This was almost like the, the test bed. <laughs> see if they would have enough demand for their own ongoing so um it's been fun wacky crazy it's always fun so i like reading that therefore i like deadpool uh this is already up to number 15 there's another duggan he's been writing a lot of dp lately that's colin bun but uh duggan there he is on that book so there's that here is one that is already up to $25, but I paid $3.99 US. Um, this was also one that I had mentioned on the um, Tuesday Comic Conversation, the third episode. And um, I actually got um, word of this, I believe it was Mike Seif who mentioned it. 
I definitely wanted to pick it up. It really sounded intriguing to me. It's Once Our Land. It says volume one. So it's issue number one. It says Once Our Land is a post-apocalyptic tale set in 1830s Germany. We focus on two survivors, Ingrid and Fritz, as they battle each day against mysterious invaders that have surfaced and wiped out everything they once knew. And what I like about it is it is all the things I like. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. A few of them. A couple of them. A fantasy, sci-fi, period, action story for both little ones and big ones. So there you go. Pretty neat. I opened it up. The artwork inside. Actually, you know what? I don't know if too many people will have gotten this. It's sold out everywhere. So I'm just going to give you a little peek at the artwork. It's very, it's all sepia tones and it's dark. Rather simplistic. Let's see, I don't know if you can see it too well. So, interesting artwork, very different than the norm, than the house styles of both Marvel and DC. So, there you go. And then, chapter two comes in chapters. So, with like monsters. Looks pretty intriguing, very different. So, looking forward to reading that. And that's going for like 25 bucks already on eBay, which I think is pretty crazy. Okay, so that's Once Early End, volume one or number one, as I would call it. Next, we have All New Wolverine, number 10. Just finally meeting up with uh, Mr. OML. Speaking of Old Man Logan, here's number eight. That's a really cool cover. I've been loving the covers that they've been doing for this. The Sorrentino art. Um, yeah, you get all the Avengers down here, kind of like. And then he's like, nah, oh, did I kill them now too? Um, cool, Daredevil there. Um, yeah, so that that's going for a while. I didn't. I don't have it in front of me. I'm hoping it continues and survives past the next relaunch. But we shall see. All right, another one I've been liking a lot, and I mentioned this as well. This, so far, we've gone through four of my top five, I believe. Maybe five, I don't know. Unbelievable Gwenpool, number four. She finally met up with Doctor Strange, and now she's kind of like tied into this universe with the history. And Modox, you know, hired her for his group but then all of a sudden her history popped up and he's like what the fuck you're not an assassin I don't need you I need to kill you now and that's where issue 3 left us Batman Detective Comics 936 it's been pretty cool not really sure who uh, the ones in this one are though they're going to end up being good or bad but something's going to happen with them I don't know what Tom King better let us know soon. Gotham, Gotham Girl, and Batman. Speaking of bats, I really like uh, Batwoman. Some of the art that they do on her, that sort of like painted style, is really cool. And they had it in the last issue of that too, with like some like a profile of her, and it was it was really neat. And then at the end too, with the Batmobile, and he had like this bat army. And they came up and they were like right there. But right before that, there were these two giant armored like APCs that came up right next to the Batmobile. And they just were like, boom, exploded. And it was a really cool imagery. Um, so anyways, uh, here we have 959. There you got Superman and you got Clark. And it's like, who's who? And like, how are they here? And who's this guy at the end with the big spear? And like, how's Doomsday here? And how is he like being able to strategize now? Next we have issue number two for Superman. Now this one I got um, at Barnes and Noble. If you notice, it is not a $2.99 book. It's a $3.99 book and that's what they do with the newsstand variants. So it will it normally would say direct sales right there in between the rating and the date. So you can see here. So this is how you can tell if, nowadays if it's direct sales or not. 
it'll focus or something. So right there it says direct sales and here it's blank. So this is the direct and then that means it's the new stand. And the new stand also has the price difference as well. So $299 goes to $399 for the new stand. So there you go. Easy ways to tell now. Unless of course you bought it off the new stand then you better know. See, it's a blank right there. It focused. And then the last one I have here is the, you know, I thought this was a black cover, but it's not. It's just a, um, a sheet covering a, a white cover. This is the Joe Quesada variant, the Midnight uh, Release Edition. And I got this. It's in a poly bag, and it's also in, um, well, it's in a bag, and then I put it in another bag as well. But the reason I got this, I actually read this online. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, so I knew that. Um, I knew the story. And everything so I figured why not it, it it's on my pull list and I had I got it and one of the corners was like boom like this whole thing because it's a dark cover on the regular one it was like white you know how they get the corner dings and the and the blunting well I'm like no nah, I don't want that that looks horrible so I said you know what I've already read the story and everything why don't I just get the poly bagged one because I don't know I just like having the full story and I don't imagine it's ever gonna be valuable or anything it's like a five dollar book so it may be eight or ten bucks in the future but you know what if I ever want to read the story or whatever I don't know it's just cool having the, the poly bag one the midnight release variant um, so that's why I picked that one up versus the one that um, has the Hulk on the cover so there you go um, that's what I got for you for today, uh, I should hopefully have, I'm waiting on a couple books to come in, some really cool ones I'm excited for. Um, hopefully those will come through. A couple of the J. Scott Campbells have been delayed uh, because of San Diego Comic Con and whatnot, and I got some books uh, from eBay coming as well. So um, hopefully I'll have a back issue haul for you here in the near future. It's probably gonna be end up being like an early August type of a video. So. That's it. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. Um, let me know. Comments down below. Um, I know somebody will go and give me a thumbs down right away. Cool. Fine. I don't care. Um, but, you know, comments are always fun and all that good stuff. Um, and that is all for today. This is Jesse here, JLS Comics, with another new comic book day haul. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey, what's everyone? Oh, God.